Hey guys, I'm Marissa. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be going over our May 2023 household budget, sharing with you our actual budget for the month. Here's how we are planning to spend all of our money. If you are new here, I live in Portland, Oregon with my husband Jacob and our two sons, Peter and Jack. Peter is going to turn three this month and Jack is going to turn one in June. We also own our home here in Portland. So here's how we are spending our money. Um, the template that I'm using is one that you can get yourself on my shop. I will leave a link to it down below and you can check it out. It's an instant download, works in Excel and Google Sheets. And then also if you wanna learn more about budgeting and how to create a budget that fits your lifestyle and your financial goals, I have a course all about budgeting. I will leave a link to that in the description box down below as well called Budget to Your Dream Life where you can create and optimize your budget to fit you specifically. So first off is our income. I have Jacob's income and my income individually blocked out, um, but I do show you our income altogether, which is 8462 that we're planning to take home after taxes, insurance, um, 401k, all of those kinds of things. My husband is a W-2 employee. He works for a company fully remote. I am a stay-at-home mom, but I do have this side income here on YouTube. Um, so I do pay myself a salary out of my business there. So we use a zero-based budget, which means all of our income equals all of our money out, including expenses, debt, and savings. So here's how we're planning to spend all of our money for the month of May. First up is expense. We have our tithe in African New Life blocked out, but we um, are Christians and we believe in giving, so that's always going to be first in our budget. Next we have is our mortgage, and I have our mortgage amount wrong here because I've copied over this tab from a few months ago. Our mortgage is 228704, and this went up because property taxes went up. We pay our principal interest, taxes, and insurance all into one payment, so we did have to increase this because of property taxes. Next is our HOA for $121.46 each month. Then we have water sewer, which is right around 100 each month. Natural gas, around 102. Maybe, I actually might lower this to like 70 because now that we're getting into spring weather, hopefully we're going to be using our heater less. And we pay our trash every other month, so this month was not a trash month. Next we have is electric at 100. I might increase this. Maybe this should be like 120 because I know we're going to be using our air conditioning more on top of um, lights and everything and utilities have gone up for us that's I'm sure they have for you as well next we have is internet at 62 each month which is our new standard and then our phones are 110 each month insurance this actually went down this should be now more around $90 because we sold one of our cars we now only have one car that we have to insure um, yeah it's just car insurance Next we have is life insurance. We have a policy, a term life insurance policy on myself and my husband Jacob. And so we pay $52.89 each month for that. Next we have is groceries at $450, which this may sound low and I've shared this a thousand times, but we've been doing HelloFresh for the last year and a half and I've received um, credits from sharing HelloFresh. I now fully max that out and I can't share any more credits. So sorry, I don't have anything to share. So I'm using through the rest of those and pretty soon here we're going to be picking up our regular uh, grocery bill or have it be more expensive here. So for right now, $4.50 is the kinds of things that we're spending at Costco, mainly for like, and, and also the regular grocery store, but for things like breakfast and lunch mostly and snacks and then dinners have been covered with HelloFresh. Next we have is eating out. We budget 150 each month for eating out. We like to go out typically just once a week um, on Friday. We actually don't go out, we do takeout. And that is our like one little splurge during the week. So Friday, 150 for the month is what we budget. Next we have is gas at 100. We only have one car like I shared. We have a 2018 Highlander. Um, it works since I'm a stay at home mom since my husband works from home. We are home a lot. So the one car we've had now for three months and it's all worked out really well of, of for us in our lifestyle. Um, and then we have fun budgeted at $50. <clears throat> Maybe we'll do something, a little a little extra family fun thing for Peter's birthday this month. Um, you know what, actually I'm going to in increase this because we do need to budget something for his birthday. We're going to do a little family party. Um, nothing too crazy, but probably just get some Costco pizzas. I did buy a little bit of decor and then my son Peter does have an egg and peanut allergy, so I'm going to make him special cupcakes that are egg-free. If you're looking for a egg, great egg-free option, you can use a quarter cup of applesauce, 
to replace one egg when you do like a sweet baking recipe. I do that like making cookies all the time or um, muffins and things like that. So I'm going to make him special cupcakes that we'll have for everyone at the party. Um, so it shouldn't be cost a lot for the party, but I'm going to add, I'll, let's say 200 here for all of his birthday things. And we'll get him a little something for his birthday too. Um, I know that other family is also going to get him some things so we don't need to go too crazy but we'll get him something for his birthday next we have is miscellaneous at 100 you always need a miscellaneous category in your budget then we have peter's school which i also have blocked out just for privacy of where he attends but um we, he does go to little preschool two days a week and loves it so we have that there next we have is our roth ira we are working on maxing out two roth iras this year one for myself and one for my husband jacob um so we started this in march and we are contributing 650 per roth ira from march through december which should max it out the max is 6500 for each next we have is college and that is at 200 each month 100 for each boy um and the roth ira and the college are obviously saving things but i keep them in expenses for me personally, just because this is money that's coming out of my bank account. So um, I just like to like, you know, check things off basically when they get withdrawn. So I can be like, okay, yep, noted. Like this came out of our bank account. Um, so that is how I have that set up. So we plan to have $6,570 come out of our bank account this month. Now let's get into the savings section. So we have, first off, our emergency fund. We finished our emergency fund when we sold our car. Um, so that is now fully complete. I do have the beginning and ending balances all blocked out for privacy for this, but we have a six month emergency fund. So I take all of our um, necessary expenses each month and then multiply it by six. And that is how much we have determined to keep in our emergency fund. Um, the way that this spreadsheet works too, if you wanna get it again as a download, you can. Um, and the way that it works is you can input like how much you are actually putting and then input how much you spent from that fund and it'll update the ending balance accordingly if you also input the beginning balance. Um, so that's how this kind of works. Um, so the next thing that we have is our opportunity fund, which I've mentioned a lot. $805.17 is what we are putting to put, planning to put here. And this is just planning for something that we're hoping will come up, just trying to prepare ahead of time um, if it does, but eight oh five seventeen. Next we have is Jacob. Jacob gets $200 of personal spending money each month. I get 75. The only reason why that's different is because I'm just not as much of a spender and I'd rather save more money to go towards other financial goals personally, but have, we've totally agreed upon these amounts for both of us together. Next we have is extra giving. We put $50 a month into an extra giving fund, which allows us to say yes to additional giving opportunities when they come up, which we love having that. Then we have gifts at $50 each month, and this is for things like baby shower gifts or a wedding gifts, like things like that. Then we have clothing at $25 each month, clothing for myself and my husband, Jacob. We need very minimal things, so that's why this is a minimal amount. Now, wedding or vacation slash wedding, this can just go back to vacation. Um, my sister got married in April, and so we are saving for um, the trip down to Southern California where the wedding was, and also um, covering things of like being in the bridal party and then vacation as well. Um, we don't really have any vacation -y things planned, so we are going to, we don't really have to add anything to that fund for right now. Next we have is Christmas and kind of same thing. We don't need to add to Christmas right now because we um, are using cashback rewards from like our Costco city card as well as our, we have another card that gives us one and a half percent cashback. And we just use that every year to fund Christmas at the end of the year. So um, now's a great time to start saving for Christmas if you haven't already, but we are not adding anything to it because I think that the rewards that we'll get from our credit cards will more than cover that i'm all for using credit card rewards as long as you are paying off your credit card in full every month and you're not carrying over a balance then it's great to utilize those rewards next week is medical we are planning to pay for all of our medical expenses out of pocket this is actually going to be an expensive medical year for us because like i said my son has a peanut and egg allergy and he is actually now going through oral immunotherapy or desensitization to overcome those allergies um it's going to be like a three month process for each allergen and we have to go to the allergist every single week so it's going to be an expensive thing but 
should i need to actually get on the phone with insurance after this but need to confirm all of it should be covered with insurance hopefully and so it'll go towards our deductible at least but therefore we are paying for expenses out of pocket but i've actually already saved up to our deductible um and so i have that saved in our sinking funds here that i plan to use to pay for medical expenses Next we have is dues and subs, um, things like, you know, your Costco membership, your registration for your car renewal, like the Zoom membership is going to be coming up, all of these random things. Um, so I just say $50 a month to cover these things when they come up during the year. Because also it seems like we have a lot of them that come up in November, which is random. So um, we can just cover, we can save each month and then it'll be covered when like the time comes. Next we have is car maintenance at $75 each month for car maintenance to cover um, any type of repair thing on our car. And then house maintenance at $400 since we are homeowners we do have to fix things at our on our house. Our house is now 10 years old and actually in the last couple months we've had like three things that we've need to had that we needed to have fixed. Um, thankfully my husband is very handy and he's done been able to do two of the things on his own. The other one was with the HVAC system and we had to h hire someone to come out and service it. Um, but the other things he saved us hundreds of dollars with the things he's been able to um, do himself here and run into Home Depot. So that's been great. Next we have is household. This covers things like toilet paper, paper towels, soap, detergent, like all of that kind of stuff. Lots of Costco-y things. And we have that budget at 100 each month. And then kids. This is for diapers, um, toys, clothes, all of the things that we may need for our kids is at 250 each month. So the total that we're planning to save or put into sinking funds is $2,080.17. Um, but you can see down here, this cell says the difference, which should be zero, is now negative 188.76. That's because I allocated money towards Peter's birthday. So I need to go up and update this. Right now we're putting every extra dollar to the opportunity fund. So I'm just going to take that out of here. So I can now put 616.41. And there you can see our difference is zero because the difference between our income and all the money out, which is the expenses, debt, and savings, we don't have any debt besides our mortgage, now are equal. So that is our zero-based budget. So that's how we're planning to spend our money for May. Really looking forward to getting into these um, spring and summertime months and preparing for some birthday parties for our kids. So this is hopefully what's more of a normal month for us. And um, let me know in the comments below what you're looking forward to this month for your budget. And don't forget, you can check out this budget template with the link in the description box down below. And also check out my course, Budget to Your Dream Life, where you can learn how to customize your budget to fit your lifestyle and your financial goals. And I will look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye. About to leave